One of the hardest things in my life is the whole desire to have a career. And that that's very important to me. But I feel a little bit like every waking hour that is outside of my full-time job has to be devoted to like being in my children's faces. Like I am here, I am present. What do you want to do? It's all about you. So I guess, I guess that means that there is some guilt with going away and having a full-time job. But I think that that's probably something that a lot of dads even feel now. So I think the thing that's complicating about being a mom and having that is the societal messages that still exist that like you should be the parent that your kid goes to when they need nurturing or something like that. Down the road for me I think it will be beneficial for my daughter and for my son to see mom at work and I think that that will help much the same way that my parents told me that I could be whatever I wanted to be and that was a message that I really believed. It's easier for me to tell my daughter that in particular if she sees me being what I want to be and she sees uh, that there are career paths available to her. I feel like it reinforces that message to her. When I was a kid, I wanted to be an actress. I did like youth theater and stuff just around my house, nothing big. So I thought that the natural progression from that was to be, uh, of course, like a uh, world famous actress. <laughs> and I lived so close to LA, like that was bound to happen. And then I got to about high school and still wanted to do that, but realized that that was going to require me to go on auditions and those people were going to potentially not like me because I was too pretty or not pretty enough or things like that that I didn't have any control over. And so I kind of redirected to broadcast journalism because I thought that that was a performance element, the broadcast part, and then the journalism was something that I could control by working hard and if I was smart enough, that then that would be something that was necessary in that facet of it. My earliest memory that I have of somebody that I saw doing this job that I related to, that made it feel like this was a reasonable career path potentially for me, was Hannah Storm. She was at the desk and she wasn't just like there wasn't a sense at all that she was a token female. You got the feeling that she was running the show, that everyone around her respected her opinion, that they treated her like she was one of the group, and that appealed to me because I never wanted to be in a token role. I always wanted to be that very specific female who knows a lot. Broadcasting is sort of a weird career, probably similar in a lot of ways to an athlete in the sense that it's not guaranteed forever. You're employed at the discretion of somebody else making a decision, and that is a subjective call. A lot of times you're working on two to three year contracts, something like that, and you don't know if you're gonna have a job at the end of that two to three years, especially as a female, because this is where the female thing I think does factor in. To a degree, you see a lot more men, historically, working into you know their later years, whereas women kind of tend to go into different facets of the business, potentially, and then the people that are on camera tend to, they tend to get replaced by somebody who's younger and hotter and whatever. So there's always been that in the back of my mind, like how long is my shelf life as a female broadcaster? And so you have to be careful. You have to um, be somewhat conservative financially. You have to make decisions that you think um, are smart for the long term based on uh, short term financial gain. I think the fact that I am somewhat conservative is probably a good thing, uh, but also requires me to, as I said earlier, have good people around me that can kind of point me in the right direction of uh, what smart financial moves might be for me, because I can't just sit here and promise you that in five years I'm gonna have the same job that I have now, and certainly not in 10 years. You know, I have no idea what my career path will look like moving forward, because I don't necessarily have control over it.